everyone, it's Tammy and it is Mon... No, it's not. It is Wednesday. Feels like Monday. It's been a long day already. <sighs> so I am on my way to go to an appointment with a dietitian. So that's exciting. <laughs> and it's about 3.15. I have to be there at 3.30, but it's just right down the street. So... I will take you I thought I'd just vlog until I got there since this is really my first time this week having the chance to do it so it's been a busy week already but um, we've had a good week I had to go get Katie yesterday from Taylor and bring her back for a doctor's appointment so that was a really quick trip but it was good to see her even for a little minute but I had seen her, I think you guys had seen the vlog previous that I'd seen her over the weekend. So it's kind of cool that I got to see her over the weekend and then yesterday and then this weekend, I'm going to get her and her boyfriend David and we are going to go to the escape room and to the apple orchard and have some fun with them and my son and his girlfriend, Aaron. So it's gonna be an exciting, fun, weekend so Saturday I'm gonna go back to Taylor in the morning and pick them up bring them back and we're gonna do the apple orchard first and then we'll probably I don't know uh, hang out or I don't know what we're gonna do exactly and then we'll go to the escape room which sounds like a lot of fun and then after that I don't know what we'll do we I mean it's, it's I think it starts at 550 so it's gonna be late enough that we'll need to eat dinner and then maybe come home and rent a movie on TV or maybe go to a movie or something like that. So that's kind of what I'm thinking in my head. And I need to order some groceries and I have a whole slew of things on my to-do list. So that's crazy, but It'll all get done one way or another, I suppose. And what else do I know? Honestly, I don't know what else. <laughs> That's all I know. Um, hmm. I ordered some more stickers today. Crazy, I know. I'm just, I don't know. I go nuts over silly stuff sometimes. I even ordered another fitness planner. I have this fitness planner and I love it and I'm using it and it's great. But I don't track my, I mean I track my food in it, but the way that I'm doing it, it gives it just a little bit of room and it's difficult because people that want to look at my tracking, I either have to write it in a different book and let them see that because then I can't take notes while they're looking at it and talking about stuff. So it's kind of crazy how I'm doing it. So I thought that this new fitness tracker would be good to uh, keep track of the food and stuff. And I don't know, I'm hoping so. I, I don't need 18 million trackers or 18 million uh, planners because Lord knows I won't use them. So I am trying to see if there is a parking spot for me. And there does not seem to be. <laughs> See if we can rhyme everything. No, just kidding. Just kidding. See, so I'm here already. It really is close, which is very nice. Okay, it looks like there's some spots over here. I don't know if that's one. It probably is, but there's a big old truck. I guess I'll park right here. All right, so I have my cup. <laughs> I think that's cute. I'm using it for my water this morning. I had coffee in it. Uh, this morning using it for my water this afternoon Okay, well, I'm gonna head on in and I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye-bye Alrighty Now it is Time to go home 
the dietitian class was, I don't know, I think I could have taught it. It was about frugal, uh, gro frugal grocery shopping and meal planning, which I, like I said, I just think I could have taught that one, which, you know, I know not everybody knows it, but I certainly, I didn't really learn anything, so it was kind of a bummer in that respect, but that's okay. I have my one-on-one -on -one scheduled for October 30th, and yeah, I will be done with the dietitian after that, uh, so that's good. So yeah, what am I going to do now? <laughs> I'm working on my, what am I working on? Oh, there's a yawn, sorry, my Prima doll challenge for October. I'm getting that going. So that'll be fun. And I think I'll do that tonight. I also want to read. I'm reading, uh, it's a trilogy about witches and it's just an easy, you know, one of those mur murder mystery books. It's super easy read and it's fun and I like it. So I'm on the second of the three books and I might just spend some time reading tonight too. Tomorrow I have kind of a busy day at work. And then oh, Friday, I don't think it's going to be too awfully busy. I have to take Taz tomorrow to the groomer. He's getting his nails and his a bath and he is uh, having a play date. So that'll be good for him. He really likes that, so that's fun. Oh, the traffic is crazy this time of day. So I don't know how long it's going to take me to get home. Far too long, that's for sure. <laughs> I talk like I have such a long commute. I know I don't. And it's not too, too bad. Well, it shouldn't be too, too bad. We shall see. There's the UPS man. Should I stop him and see if he has anything for me? <laughs> he kind of zoomed by, didn't he? I don't know if you guys saw it. Oh, this little guy wants to come over. Well, of course, I let him over. And now the light is yellow. Hug. Bummer. So we missed the light, but that's okay. We'll be the first next time. <laughs> Uh, let's see what else. I really don't have much. I hate it when I get like this because then I'm like, I feel like I'm just totally boring and I don't know what to say. Um, Alex is putting in his college applications, which is kind of exciting and scary all at the same time. I don't want him to be disappointed. That's awful feeling and I'm nervous for him and I don't want him to go far away and you know he's going to have to make his decision here pretty soon and it's a little bit scary. Uh, and you know I'll be the empty nester kind of scary and sad but kind of exciting too I guess and I'm so glad that I'm doing all of the stuff I'm doing now because then I will be able to be more active when I'm after I've you know when I'm alone or whatever I'll be able to go do things and I'll want to and I'll be able to physically I'll feel good about it and so that's kind of something to, cool to look forward to That's one thing I love about the crock pot. I love that you can put frozen stuff in and it's fine. 
and I love that you know your whole well your most times your whole meal is done and it's warm and ready when you get there crock pot cooking might take Taz on a walk tonight too sweet little boy I should try to take Jambo or Fuzz, <laughs> put a leash on them and drag them outside. <laughs> I wouldn't do that, I'm just kidding. But I can just picture it in my head, they're so funny. My son just texted me that he's at the Y. I forgot to text him and tell him I was gonna be late today. Oh, see, I get upset when they don't do it and then I didn't do it. didn't even remember until just now when I saw his so I'll have to text him when I get home and tell him that I saw we that I was having to go to a meeting for an appointment <sighs> I am tired but when I think about it I really didn't get very much sleep last night so I guess I have reason to be tired. That CPAP machine is still really good. I think it's helpful. I feel more rested with it. I still usually get about five hours of sleep, maybe five and a half on average. And last night I only had like four. So uh, yeah, that's a little not enough. That's a little not enough. That's, that's not quite enough. But five or five and a half, that seems to be a fair, decent amount for me. Like, I just have never really needed a ton of sleep. I've always been an early bird, and I can stay up late if I need to, but I usually go to bed a little early and I wake up early. But um, my early for going to bed is like 11, maybe 10. But usually I don't go to bed until 11 or a little later. And that's fine for me. That works out great. Um, and then, you know, I get up whenever, like, I don't know, 4.30, 5 o'clock. And uh, that seems to work out okay. But it's just difficult when I don't get that much sleep. Like, if I, like last night, I think it was 4, point, 4 hours and 4 minutes, according to my CPAP machine. So, that's kind of a bummer. I mean, I had good sleep, which is nice, but that's why I'm yawning now, I think. <sighs> but I am yawning. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I really am looking forward to the weekend. I asked my brother if he wants to go to the apple orchard with us. I haven't gotten a response yet. I texted him this morning and he still hasn't responded. Jerk. I'm teasing. <laughs> he's he's a good guy. Man. I also need to do a plan with me, but I think I am gonna wait until tomorrow because I'd really rather read and work on my uh, Prima Doll challenge. So, I think it's going to be really cute. My friend Tracy helped me come up with the idea. Actually, she came up with the idea and then I just kind of worked it into how I saw it in my head and I think it'll be cute. So, you'll have to stay tuned for that one. It's coming up in October, the middle of October. It'll be posted on a Saturday. Maybe like the 16th or something like that. That sounds right, but... I'm not exactly sure of the day. Whatever's around that day. <sighs> okay, I'm going to let you guys go because I am just yawning and it's ridiculous. Ooh, there's a jaguar in front of me. Ooh, fancy schmancy. So I will talk with you guys soon and I hope that you guys are having a great day and a great week. And I'll probably end this vlog here so that I can get it posted. Bye.